We're awaiting uh, new information tonight about the potential fate of President Trump's former national security advisor. The special counsel is doing the paperwork that will outline his recommendation for the sentencing of Michael Flynn. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Harridge has the latest tonight on where that investigation stands right now and some interesting late breaking developments as well. Good evening, Catherine. That's right, Brett, and good evening. Confirmation tonight that political operative Roger Stone is resisting a request for documents and an interview with Senate Democrats citing his Fifth Amendment rights. In a letter released by Senator Dianne Feinstein. Stone's lawyer describes the request as, quote, too overbroad, as court filings this week suggest the special counsel investigation is entering a critical phase. It is a climax and a turning point. Analysts say the legal filings on former campaign chairman Paul Manafort, the president's former personal attorney Michael Cohen, and former national security advisor Michael Flynn indicate Mueller is wrapping up loose ends. In a cooperation context, when the government is ready to make their filing and ready to go to court for sentencing, that generally means um, that the cooperation by the particular individual has come to the end. With a midnight Tuesday deadline, the Flynn sentencing memo could come at any time, documenting his cooperation and shed more light on his contact with Russian officials, including Ambassador Sergei Kislyak, after the presidential election. Flynn, who pled guilty last year to lying to the FBI over his post-election contact, faces a maximum five-year sentence, but with a plea agreement, significantly less time is anticipated. There are lingering questions. This past March, the House Republican Russia investigation found that while Flynn pled guilty to lying, former FBI Director James Comey and his deputy Andrew McCabe testified their agents saw no signs of deception, with McCabe telling the committee, quote, the two people who interviewed Flynn didn't think he was lying, which was not a great beginning to a false statement case. On Friday, Comey is scheduled to appear before House Republicans for a closed-door interview under oath, as Mueller team files new briefs on Manafort, who they accuse of violating his plea agreement, as well as Cohen. We're going to see the president respond very badly to all of this, as he feels the walls are sort of closing in on him. The president said there's no collusion. Mueller has gotten no thing, nothing except uh, commitments on perjury and other things that are, that are outside of this. Also today, Democratic Attorneys General for Maryland and D.C. issued subpoenas for financial records for the Trump Organization and Trump Hotel here in Washington, arguing there may be violations of the constitutional ban on gifts from foreign governments. Brett. Catherine, thank you. You're